Hey guys, before we get into today's episode, we are going to be giving our first shout out, which is something we're going to be doing each week to help recognize local organizations, small businesses, uh, anything of that nature. So with that being said, this week's shout out is for Misfit Mutt's Dog Rescue. Uh, in a nutshell, it's a group of really great people who travel around the country looking for abandoned dogs, uh, dogs that have never known a good home. Uh, they bring them back here to Wisconsin and they match them with uh, their forever homes. Uh, it's a phenomenal organization. Uh, I got one of my dogs from there and she is just absolutely the best. I can't say enough about this organization in terms of the good that they do. So real quickly, they have a La Java coffee fundraiser, which is constantly going on. Uh, you can check out their website for more information on that. Uh, they have an art show on June 10th, which is going to be at the Bottle Room on Lineville Road. Uh, the link for tickets is on their website. $20 ahead of time, $25 at the door. And then finally, they have what's called Misfit Mondays, where at their location, uh, they offer very inexpensive nail trims um, and a number of other grooming services, again, at a very affordable price. Um, finally, they're always looking for homes for dogs that either need a temporary home or a forever home. A lot of times petless homes um, are the best because that gives dogs that maybe have issues with other animals um, an opportunity to settle in and kind of calm down and just kind of get their bearings before they, you know, go to the home that may be their forever home. So again, um, if you're looking for any information on them, make sure to go to their website, misfitmutsdogrescue.com. Check out their Facebook page for everything they have going on. And uh, with that being said, enjoy the show. I don't care. You were borderline like, who was that? Lamar Odom? Yeah. Who used to eat like 47 candy bars oh, a day? Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard? Dwight Howard. That yeah. Lamar liked the, the stripper. Yeah, he liked yeah. And Crystal oh, Mass. Yeah. Welcome back to another dimension. I'm Quinn. I'm Trask. I'm Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Trask, you're going to lead this one today. Let's start off with a joke. Story of my life. Let's a start joke. Off with a joke. Let's start off with a joke. Okay. Um... It's what kind of uh, cheese is not yours? Nacho cheese. It's not your joke, bro. Hunter told me that or something. I couldn't remember. That was dumb. We should have TJ do the joke of the week. Yeah, we, we couldn't do that. Well, we could because nah, this is have to deliver it. Like we'd have to change it. Yeah, and beep it. <laughs> is he is he back? TJ did he yeah, drop the trailer? He dropped this morning, I think. Yeah. Shoot. All right. All right. So. Joke was lame. Taylor, you're gonna have to edit that out. We'll roll with it. It's fine. <laughs> you cannot. I'll, I'll keep get that something. I'll get something out of that. Not the joke, but I'll okay. get something out of that. Um, How about Holly Bambenick? Yeah, last week's winner. Last week's winner. Thanks for submitting. Thanks for listening. What nice. was the question? Was um, uh, Ghost Town? W- Ghost Town. What's that the other word? Timeout. That Sean called in three times to answer and got it wrong every single time. Do you remember any of his answers? No, because they were like. He thought we meant the most haunted. So he looked up the most haunted places in America (laughs) and (laughs) tried to guess those, and he was wrong. Better luck next time, Sean. The answer was Casper, Wyoming. Yep. And uh, Holly, I'm surprised. Actually, I'm sure she has pictures of it. She documents um, her trips down the road with her husband, her her husband and our team, Benny and Holly. Um, And I want to say, don't quote me on this. She'll correct this, I'm sure. But she's got like... Five million views on like her Google photo views, like of all of the trips that they do. It's kind of pretty cool. She documents like every load they do. Wow. Via face. Yeah. How do we get some of that? Yeah. What are those views? I'm not a social media guy. Are those views or that's not followers? Not, I don't think followers, but Mm -hmm. like. You can see like, like if you log into like your Google account and you post stuff, like you can see how many people, like views, like how many people. Yeah. And this was a while ago. I remember, I think I saw her post something. She'll correct this. I don't remember exactly what it was, but. It was an absurd amount, 
And like some of the videos are super cool. You can hear yeah. Benny driving in the background. That dickhead, like, just cut me. Out. It's kind of funny, but yeah. Well, that's what we talked like last week about <laughs> yeah. seeing. You see things that other people don't, yep. and that's pretty cool. Yeah. But so, thanks for listening. Yeah. Well, uh, message us, send us your info, and we'll we'll get you um, some stuff sent out in the mail. Yeah. Uh, Taylor just gave us a thumbs up. We must have did something right. You ever driven on the, you ever been in, what was it, the Silly City? Is that what I said? Silly Circle. Silly Circle. You ever driven on the Silly Circle? Probably. Here's the hint. It consists of three different states. Did you know that, Trask? I, well, after you told me, I did. <laughs> oh, here's another hint. Is it out east? Yeah. Yes. Um, 95? I don't know. We don't know the highway. <laughs> <laughs> the, Good the, question, you know, guys. No. But it's, it's the, the beltway around yeah, Washington, D.C. It's the belt okay. around D.C. that right. runs through Maryland and Virginia. 95 yeah. is more than three states. 95 is, I I, for sure, all the way. Doesn't yeah. that run the whole East Coast down to Florida? I'm I pretty just, sure it does. There's, maybe there's a circle on it. Yeah, there's, guess. there's worse yeah. guesses. Those yeah. are traffic circles. Crop circles. Crop circles. Swimming pool. I don't I, know if this is an actual term. I don't we use it. Is it an actual term in trucking? Swimming pool? It's our or term. did you guys just make it up? It is now. It's our term. Our term. What is it? So, go ahead and explain this one. You're good at it. So, when we um, when we tarp a large piece of machinery, um, we will lay tarps down on, on top of the trailer and then set our piece of machinery on top of the tarp and then wrap the tarp up and around um, so the bottom's covered. Because otherwise, like it, yeah, so it, it acts like a swimming pool. Yep. Um, and then we lay tarps on the top, and, and it covers the entire piece. If you didn't do that, you would have to have really big tarp for something um, to go, you know, out from the deck, up, over, down, back, back down. And then back to the yes, trailer. and wrap it like a Christmas present. Uh, or you would have to offset your tarps, which we've also done in the past. We will do both. It kind of depends on the situation. Or what you're picking up or tarping. Yeah, and and we've, we've done both. They Sometimes both it's, yeah. If you have any tarp tricks, let us know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's what a yeah, swimming pool swimming is. Pool. All right, here's one. You'll probably retire there when you're older. I can just see you there sipping the your coffee. Pool? No, at the next place. What's the next place? The next place has a lot of swimming pools. Yeah. Good lead in. Sticker patch. Retire. And I'm going to retire there. Yep, I can see it. <clears throat> you know, just boating around. Oh, where are you boating? <laughs> On all the concrete? <laughs> yeah, there's lakes close. <laughs> Sticker patch. Yep. It's good for your joints. A everyone says it's a, there. Everyone says Arizona? it's Arizona. Yeah, where? I don't know. Phoenix. Phoenix. You want to know why they call it that? Yes. Because all the cactuses. Sticker patch. Good one, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that. Well, either did we. Until like two <laughs> minutes before this show. <laughs> all right. I got one more that neither you know. Oh. Hogtown. Hogtown. Hog Town. Iowa. Nope. Really. You're gonna have to think. It's not gonna be what it's. It's you're gonna have to think outside the box. Sturgis. Nope. Good. Ooh, I get, that's a good I, one. I get why you'd think that, but no. Does it have to do with north of Highway 64 pigs? in Wisconsin? Uh, I don't. <laughs> it doesn't say anything related to it being pigs. I tell you what, it's not in the U.S. What? Why would we know that then? It's close. There are neighbors. Upstairs or downstairs, neighbors? <laughs> upstairs. Hogtown in Canada. Toronto. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but it's known as Hogtown. Speaking of Toronto, actually speaking of Canada, this will bring us right into one of our topics. Yeah, this that's week. perfect. Okay. Um, so the United States has been on mandatory ELDs since I think it was December 18th of 2018, right? Something around there. Sure. Anything We're, commercial year 2000, model year 2000 or newer. Yes. Okay. They were required to have electronic logging devices. Mm -hmm. Canada does what, not what have What is that. an electronic logging device? It depends. Well, no, no, no. It, it ties into the... The ECM of the, the truck. The computer system of the truck. So you cannot 
falsify your logs. Right. And then it records that and that's your location. what you did. Yep. Your location, your drive time, your on-duty time, your off-duty time, sleep or birth, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. And before ELD is how did, how did guys do it? Paper. So you could fudge it and that the guys were getting away with that a lot of the times, right? Yeah. I mean, it was common practice back then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just curious. You, yeah. No, I mean, people are still finding ways to fudge ELDs now. Sure. I mean, multiple multiple logins. Um, oh, what else? we had a guy apply. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Tell that story. Not recently. Uh, no, before he, your time. Okay. Uh, he applied, and he was making comparable money <laughs> to here, <laughs> but he was doing four, five, four, four or five turns. Four or five turns to Ohio every week. Leaving on Sunday and being back Wednesday. No. No, 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 no. It was 600 miles out. So 1,200-mile turns. Yeah. It was, he was doing one, like, one almost a day. one a day. But remember, he wanted to see if we had local work on Fridays that he could help us out with. So he was for sure back on Thursday. <sighs> That's right. Yeah. So anyway, he was, he was <laughs> doing, like, 4,800 miles a week. And we were like, how? What are you doing? Are you on e-logs? Because we know who he works for. And uh, he's like, well, yeah. Well, how are you doing it? Well, I've got another login. We're like, what? Yeah. I got, just like the old days where he ran two logbooks. Yeah, it's just electronic. So, yeah, I guess it, it does still happen. Um, it's only a time before someone like that gets I caught or in an accident. I don't know why he wants to work that hard. Yeah. Like, can, can you imagine? I drove to New London last night and, like... <laughs> 40 miles down the road and like <laughs> 25 maybe. Okay. By the time I got home, I'm like, I got to get out of this truck. Like I'm <laughs> so sick of this. Like I could wow. not. Could you imagine 40, 600 miles in a week, every week, and then coming home and working on your farm Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because he was a and, farmer. And calling around for lo- for extra work. Work. Yeah. Okay. But back to the topic. <laughs> ELDs. Uh, ELDs. So they track your your place your location, how long you've been driving, and your status changes. The miles driven. They monitor the truck, make sure that the truck engine's working, like those kind of things. I think some, some, some of them, them do. do yes. yes. A diagnostic tool for the truck, like if yep. there's an, if it throws yep. a cold or something. O- ours does. Yes. So the FMCSA required everyone in the United States to go to an electronic logging device. If you were running a truck that was model year, Engine year, mm-hmm. 2000 or newer. Correct. In 2018. Mm-hmm. Companies were doing it before. Some companies took a little bit. There were some grace periods. Well, Canada hasn't had that yet. Really? No. They're, I just read in uh, Fleet Owner Magazine, June 12th this year, that they're going into effect. And most, most carriers up there don't have it. I wonder how it works though, when they come into the United States. Are they required? I would think so. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, me either. But I thought that was kind of that's that's weird. Yeah. Also in Canada, I believe, uh, if we go there, our trucks need to be regulated at sixty-five miles an hour. I thought it was fifty-five in some. Mm, I don't think so. I think it's sixty-five. Yeah, and some. Oh, in some provinces, yeah, it might be different. Some sure. provinces require you to have like something tuned down, like a like a tuner, so your truck can't go over that. Okay. We don't have that. Kinda, no, We've never we been. Questioned on it, no. but um, yeah, <clears throat> different laws. Should know them. Yeah, I mean, if we go there, we look into or it. Or you pay the price. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, which we have. What talk about? I mean, oh, the trailer. Yeah, we were running. I don't even know how many loads. Ten, twenty, something like that. Loads up to couple two tree. Couple two tree up by <laughs> up by fast Toronto someplace. I don't remember. I I remember. Brampton, Brampton, Ontario. Ontario. I think it was the second to last load. It might have been the last or the last load. Yep. Um, went up, delivered. We could come back empty, and got pulled into the scale. The trailer had just gone through a DOT, a DOT here in the shop, serviced, and they, the DOT officers up there said that um, our brakes were out of adjustment. 
Slacks. Slack, Slack adjusters. adjusters were auto adjustment. Three of them? Three out of the eight, I think. I don't remember exactly. Anyway, it was whatever. They were uh, Stemco brand. I'm going to say that. Mm -hmm. uh, Slack adjusters. And Which they, we found out that if they see Stemco, they basically put everyone out of service. Because yes, of it. which we didn't know and now we don't mm -hmm. use. Um, but apparently there's some issues with them because um, they were in adjustment when they left here. Yep. And uh, they weren't far out of adjustment. Um, on, a, on a break, you get... Um, Certainly way. Uh, it's called a break stroke. Um, it's, and it's how far um, the brake rod moves. I think I'm, it's different on a long stroke. And a, or, uh, John should be talking about this. <laughs> um, long stroke and short stroke brake chamber. But whatever. We were like a quarter inch off, I think. Um, long story short, they impounded the trailer. Thank yep. goodness it was empty. Yep. Uh, inspected the truck. Truck passed. Had a clean inspection. But they impounded the trailer. They Took, yanked the plate off of it. Yep. They drug it to a holding area. Which is a complete crock of crap, which if you ask me. Which they all knew each other, and they were all... They probably all were brothers. Yeah, they're like, oh, Jim, he he's the guy who hauls this stuff. Yep. And... Uh, and we couldn't the, come the, back. The bad, they, well, they impounded it this? for like 14 days, didn't they? Or like S two, three like, weeks or something? Yeah, but do you remember? We, if that happens in the States, yep. you call, you get shut down yep. and you call the repair guy and the repair guy, come, the certified repair guy, oh, and he comes out and he fixes, fixes it. it. Well, there was a repair guy at the scale because they were doing this to a lot of people. Yep. We had the repair guy fix our brakes, put them back in adjustment. Yep. They still Charge, charged us like a service call and all that kinds was of the stuff. Guy, I think his name was Brad, you know. <laughs> um, but that was the guy that ended up towing the trailer yes. to the to the impound lot, which wasn't an impound lot. It was Dale and Dale's <laughs> towing and recovery from and he, Brampton. He knew that that wasn't going to get us anywhere. He still charged us. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, um, I forgot about that. Then we, what the heck did we do? It so must then, have been the second to last load because we loaded that on a trailer to bring it back. Coming back, yeah. But then you couldn't just go pick up the trailer. Remember that? Yeah. We had to send Stu or whoever it was to go. Who went and got it? I forget. Keith. Did Keith go get it? I think so. I don't remember. I thought it was Matt maybe. Mm. Whoever it was. But we had to send them back to the scale where it got impounded plate. to get the plates to be able to go back to have this crew come pull it out of their impound lot, which was Dale's older brother, Dale. And then we could hook up to it and bring it back. Then we had to bring it back to the scale to get inspected before we could get out of the States or out of, out Canada. of Canada. I'm glad they're getting e-logs. Then, <laughs> then we got our, we got our fines. Yeah. Which, um, we're up to like 25 grand or something like that. <laughs> um, this is a 1995 trailer that's been all redone, and it's not worth what we have in it. Um, but we, so we we got our court thing, and we had to so we had to hire an attorney up there, and His had to hire one Dale. for for quick transport and the driver. Yep. And they're like, "Oh yeah, we deal with this all the time." I'm like, yeah, sure, <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> and it's been pushed like, I think it's been pushed four well, times. Well, this was all before COVID. Yeah, and then COVID hit, and then it's pushed. Mm -hmm. I think it pushed twice, and then they had like pre-trial stuff or whatever. Um, it's still not cleared up. Well, and they this said like if you don't if ago? you don't hire an attorney, like you're probably going to be found guilty. But if you hire an attorney, yeah. it's going to be like a thousand yes. dollar fine. Yeah, We're like okay. And okay. What, what the heck? They scared us. It was like. Wasn't it a grand to 25 grand or something? I thought the it was like a fine. max of like 25 grand, and yeah. we had to go there. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sorry for the tangent, just yeah. a Canadian horror story. We yeah. still go to Canada. Yeah. Um, I think they're nice I, up I there. Don't, <laughs> I don't fully believe that um, that happened. No, that I totally don't, I don't, happened. I don't, I, don't, I don't fully believe that the brakes were out of adjustment. Yeah, I don't know. He said there was a bunch of trailers there. Um, speaking of scales. Yeah. Roadside inspection last week. What do we got for that? Zero. Zero? 72-hour blitz last week. Yeah. Which everybody, I mean, there were guys who shut down. We have two 
renters from us, their trucks didn't move all week. Yep. And uh, for no, us, yeah. it's like business like usual. Yep. So we... We didn't even get pulled in. Expected. Usually during the Blitz, I would say anywhere from three to five inspections. Like where yep. they're going to go through your truck, your truck and trailer, your logs and stuff. And we didn't have any. Which is good. Which was awesome. Yeah. Um, and not that we were trying to hide anything by any means, but... They're a no, little but bit I more stringent it, during these things. I think it – I could be wrong. I was on the road during that time too, and every scale I went by, I got the bypass. Yep. So I think that – Explain the bypass. We have a – so everybody knows what a to- toll transponder is for yep. when you're on a toll road, it prepaid tolls. We have that for scales also, and they weigh you in the road. Correct. And then if you um, – are a legal weight, they typically give you the the bypass. Green light. Green light. Now, if you have a poor CSA rating... Some of those times those... They're going to pull you in. And they don't even work. You have to pull in. Right. So I I, I guess it's... I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah. Um, Proud of everybody here for that. Yeah, thanks Um, to the guys, for sure. Yeah, it... uh, Being safe out there means a lot. It goes a long ways. And it just avoids... I mean, who knows? You, you, you pull on a scale and they found, you know, that, that light was working this morning when I did my pre-trip and yep. now it, for some reason, it's out. Yep. Um, that happens. Or brakes are out of adjustment. Apparently, yeah. But um, Allegedly. It, allegedly. It, it, uh, it goes to show you that um, putting safety first does matter. Yeah. I, th- I don't know if that, that helped us through the, the inspection week. Um, I don't think it, it hurt did, us. It didn't hurt. Yeah, which is a, something to hang our hats on. Yeah. So, so yeah. You know what else we haven't done in a while? What? We haven't shouted out Nettie. Nettie. Pete Hippus. Pete Hippus. The Stashik family. Yep. Uh, hey, Sean. Spe- speaking of which, Bill Clinton. We, we need to get Amy engages with every single social media post. Yep. We need to get her on. Uh-oh. So I'm calling out Amy Stashik. We need you. We need you on as a guest. Oh, boy. She can let us know how it's going with Matt at home right now. Yeah. Yep. I bet you she's got a list for him. Yeah. Longer than the day is long. Get after it, Matt. Yeah. Pitter patter, Matt. Um. Yeah. Who else? Um, who else are we not? Uh, my second grade math teacher. Your mom. My mom. My um, mom. Taylor's mom. mom shares every <laughs> episode. Madonna. People think she works here. I know she listens. Madonna? Yeah. I don't want Beeple her to told listen. You? Beeple. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, other than that. There's more than that, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Bill Stofus. Yeah. Michael Walker. Still listens. Carolina Flash. Carolina Flash. Michael Walker, we need another question for you, from you. Yep. Or topic. Yeah. Or topic. Michael yeah. Allen Walker. Yep. I don't know how I know your middle name. That's, that's how you have really it on creepy. Facebook. <laughs> you think that's, that's Walker, Texas Rangers relation? Chuck Norris. Show. He was now, did you know that when Chuck Norris does a push up? I can't wait. I can't wait. Here's the joke yep, of the week. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> he it. doesn't push himself up. He pushes the world down. <laughs> yep. Yep. Does he say that? Uh, no, but no. I read that's it true. once. It's I wonder if he just goes along with all those like, yeah, that's what I do. I wonder how yeah. he feels about all those. You think? Oh, Chuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chuck. Dude. Chuck and I go way back. I, all I see from Chuck is dude, I love from that, Dodgeball. I love that Dodge Ram <laughs> thing. In Walker, Texas Ranger. Little Casey who lights is on his, the back. Who? Trivette. Trivette. Yeah. Oh, man, that was a good show. <laughs> I love Trivette's turtleneck. You know, he actually he wore a turtleneck. I remember Back that. when it was cool. Mm. Trivette? You don't remember Walker's sidekick? Mm. I can picture him. Yeah. Yeah. You know who else? We... Adam Faust. Adam Faust. The, the, so Adam, we're supposed we're gonna get on here, but do you think he's gonna have? I think he might he, be big time. Yeah, like he's not gonna waste his time on us now. Yeah, no, he yeah. was on. What was he on? At, at what everything? Yeah. <laughs> Tucker Carlson. Yeah. I mean, Glenn at, Beck. At Glenn Beck. I mean, he's. I don't know if we want to say what's going on, but he he's, probably won't even answer my text anymore. Yeah, no, he's way too cool. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. It was nice knowing yeah, you. I love you, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Fight that cause. Can I can Fight I have that your autograph? Yeah. Yeah, so those guys. No, that's awesome. Uh, question this week. 
What are you thinking? How many inspections did Quick Transport receive during Blitz Week? As of we, 20, 21. Of 2021. And that, how long is Blitz Week w- again? 72, 72 hours. 72 hours. That okay. we talked about. Yep. Because if somebody got one that we don't know about. Ooh, that's not good. No. <laughs> um, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's that's a wrap. Yeah. See, have a good weekend. Yeah, I got to meet P- Pete Hippus this week. What'd you think? Cool guy. Uh, are you just saying that because you're on live TV? No, it's not T. It's not <laughs> live TV. <laughs> no, I like Pete. Pete's a good guy. Yeah. Pete, Pete we're gonna need some firewood. Ra- I heard about firewood. That. Yep. Uh, random fact: Pete is an avid bowler. Ooh. And he does have a 300. Really? Yeah. I what's think what's home? What's hometown for him? Little shoot. Okay. Where does he like to bowl? At a bowling alley. Is that why he works at the old village lanes? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. No. <laughs> yeah. Are there the lanes go. still in there? No. That's what they do for lunch? <sighs> Burgers. Bowling. That would be sweet. Oh, my gosh. We should get a bowling alley. Pete. Pete, can you hook us up with some hardwood? It's the only sport you can eat greasy food and play at the same time. Yeah. Bowl mm. strike and then grab some French fries. That's what's <laughs> up. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Yeah, so have a good week. We'll see you next week. Uh, Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening. Congratulations, Holly. Congrats, Holly. That is it for episode number 16. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, not a lot of announcements this week. Really, the big thing we're still pushing is that we're, we're still looking for flatbed drivers. So if you or someone you know is looking for a new career opportunity, have them give us a call. We offer a number of phenomenal be- benefits, uh, top industry pay, brand new trucks, Uh, Like I said, there's a lot of great things about working here as a driver. So make sure they get a hold of us. Um, Again, if you know anybody, follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Uh, Make sure you're leaving us a review for our podcast if you find it to be entertaining or informational or maybe a little bit of both. Other than that, thank thank you to Misfit Mutts for allowing us to give them a shout out this week. And uh, have a great week, everybody.